speaking of missing anything. to look up and see how that damn harmony thing works. It's not very clear. None of these uh, special techniques are very clear, right? Here we go. <laughs> my daughter's in effect right now. So is my dog. Those girls are pretty smart for eight. Oh, 
How does that not work? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so lost right now. I think that's the right direction I want to go, though. was a bad guy. All right, I know where I'm at now. So yeah, I've been trying to get her to learn how to speak, you know, or something like that. And she's she hasn't come up with her first words yet, and that's that's fine, you know. Do what you do, grow how you grow. I just don't see the point in trying to bombard her with with uh, learning tools and things if she can't she can't even really speak like her job right now is to explore the uh, planet right so I try to let her explore things but uh, you, you start to realize after a while that Yeah, sorry, dude. I'm just trying to figure out how to get down. That's the end of the thing, so I guess I can go down the other way. Barely missed you. Says the harmony chain is a battle feature in Eternal Sonata that allows the player to chain additional special attacks following the use of the character's special attack if the echo count is either 24 or 32. To execute the chain, the player must hit the special attack button again when the attack name changes and, chime, and the chime button is sounded. Okay. Alright, so you don't have to hit the button when it says Harmony Chain, you just have to hit it. Let's uh, use this guy to practice. I think I pushed the button too early. Hey, 
I just have to jam on the button as fast as possible to make sure you catch it. Because <laughs> it doesn't work the other way. Alright, save point. Be killing me with these cries, man. What is she mad about? Uh oh. She hit you with that. All right. This guy is, uh. They're repeating the boss guys now, but whatever. Supposed to be for me, man. Goodness, I'm having a real hard time catching up to this guy. talking about
Oh, I didn't hit the harmony chain again. Alright, that was pretty ill. Much better. Got three of them in a row. Much better. That's much better. <laughs> Is it much better? Are you trying to tell me something? You're presented with a variety of sounds and expressions over time. Clavis, what's that bitch it's doing here? You enjoy an arrangement of time that changes from moment to moment. In contrast to that, a painting always stays the same, even after thousands of years. But then the world and the feelings drawn on that canvas can be shared by people in the past and in the future. If those two art forms were to be combined, I think that even God would be able to appreciate the resulting creation. An art form that would be appreciated by God? Jeez. Yes. Imagine a music that could make us feel space and dimension. I didn't think we we're gonna go religious in this and game. Pictures that would make us feel time and experience motion. Whatever kind of art it is, you would need to use more than one of your senses to understand it. It's more important to feel it with your heart. But let me ask you, does that idea really apply only to the arts? What? Maybe there's something else that's even closer to us. Something that can only be understood by feeling it with our hearts. Okay. Can you guys just kind of zip us down to the bottom, please? I thought not. Alright, everybody. So that's, uh... Huh, who else am I supposed to be fighting here? Everybody, that's free time let's play. So, wow, this... The guy on the um, video game thing said that this game was 20... It took him 20 hours to complete. Alright, now I'm cutting out a lot of the crap of this game. Like, I want to know how you complete a 20 hour speed run on these, these uh, role playing games. Because I find that I get stopped a lot so that I can level up and stuff. I mean, 
playing another game all day, sorry. All day yesterday. I had to switch to a game that, that I can pause a lot. Because, um... Of course, if I'm taking care of my daughter... You know, a lot of people, when they take care of their daughter, they, they do it, like, non-stop and pay complete attention to. But, um... It's, it's difficult. I mean, she's... She's almost one now. Um, uh, you know, at the time of this recording, of course. And it's like, um... <laughs> It's, it's like uh, she can walk around and do stuff by herself. And um, my wife totally gets to, like, she has a different way of, you know, raising Sophia than I do. Like, she's more of a concentrated play person. You know what I mean? She's not necessarily fun for everybody, but she's only fun for the children. And I realize that I'm not uh, necessarily fun for everybody as well. Just want to go home. Just want to figure out what the hell everything's about here. That goes up. Does anything go down? Waste of time. So anyway, my wife is more of a a I love kids when they're um, when they're babies type person. I usually deal with children from like um, the age of you can talk to them. So what my daughter's doing right now is that she just. Whenever she wants something, obviously she's going to uh, cry because she can't really talk. And I've been trying to teach her sign language, but other people jump in there. And whenever she does something, they think it's cute, so they turn it more into a carnival act than, than uh, you know, some useful sign language. It's like one guy for good measure. Pleased to meet you. Since I'm all lost. the counter. So yeah, so I've been kind of waiting for the time, you know, a certain amount of milestones for her to hit so that I can start training her, you know what I mean? Uh, I 
that's not helpful, is it? Oh, okay. Because the sand came down, now there's a place to go. Man, this stage is long. Apparently, I didn't have to beat all the bad guys, just enough for one tower to make the sand on one side, I guess? I don't know. If you remember in the, the last uh, episode, they kind of actually brought up, um, oh, another, what's over here? Nothing. They kind of just started bringing uh, Francois Chopin into the actual story, but it's still like disconnected from the story. Like if you were to take him from the story, it would still, there, nothing would happen. Anyway, it looks like we can reach the top of the floor from here. What should we do? Go to the top floor. <laughs> 